Hello friends, welcome back. Hearty welcome to you. In this session, let us find out the definite integral of 0 to 1 by 2 sin inverse root x dx. Now, we can solve this problem in so many ways. We will take trigonometric substitution, which is my favorite, once again. So, first we will solve this definite integral as an indefinite integral and after that we will apply the boundaries 1 by 2 and 0. So to solve the problem, let us take root x equals to sin theta so that we can cancel that inverse there. Now if root x is sin theta, then x is sin square theta. Also, if needed for future, we can write down 1 minus x is cos square theta because 1 minus sin square theta is cos square theta. And if x is sin square theta, what will be dx value? Because we want to transform this integral in terms of x to theta so that we can remove that sin inverse part so dx is sin 2 sin theta cos theta d theta or we can write it as sin 2 theta d theta now once we got dx equals to sin 2 theta d theta we can just go back to the problem and substitute theta is sin inverse root x so instead of sin inverse root x I can write down theta and instead of dx, I can write down 2 sin theta cos theta d theta. So, let's go ahead and write down our indefinite integral that is integral of sin inverse root x. But we are changing that from x to theta. So it will be integral of sin inverse root x dx, but root x is sin theta. And the dx is 2 sin theta cos theta d theta. Simplifying, we will have integral of theta into sin 2 theta d theta. Now this integral we know we can easily find it out by integration by parts. For integration by parts we need to select our first function and second function. We will take sin 2 theta as our second function and theta as our first function. Now what will be the formula? So we will take sin 2 theta as our second function, theta as first function. The formula will be integral of second function multiply with first function so we can also write it as first function into integral of second function minus integral of derivative of the first function multiplied with whatever we got earlier integral of second function as it is here so let us simplify that we will have theta into integral of sine to theta that is minus cos to theta by 2 minus derivative of theta is 1 and that we have to multiply with minus cos 2 theta by 2. We have to find out the integral of this. So let us simplify that and find out the integral. So integral of cos 2 theta by 2 d theta is sin 2 theta by 4. So we'll write it in the next step. Minus theta cos 2 theta by 2 plus sin 2 theta divided by 4 plus c. Now let's get our theta again back to x.
we can write down cos 2 theta as 1 minus 2 sin square theta so it will become 1 minus 2x and sin 2 theta is 2 sin theta cos theta so that is 2 into root x into root of 1 minus x we can write it as 2 into under root x into 1 minus x let us substitute those values here so we will have minus of sin inverse root x multiply that with 1 minus 2x divided by 2 plus 2 sin theta cos theta that is 2 into root x into 1 minus x divided by 4. Now this is the indefinite integral so let us go back to our original problem that is we have to find out 0 to 1 by 2 sin inverse root x so that will be applying integral 0 to 1 by 2 on the solution what we got just So 0 to 1 by 2 sin inverse of root x dx is equal to whatever the answer solution we got earlier we have to just put the boundaries 1 by 2 and 0. So let us go ahead and do that. We will have minus 1 minus 2x into sin inverse root x by 2 plus root of x into 1 minus x divided by 2. So when we substitute the boundaries what happens 1 by 2 1 minus 2x will make it 0 0 into everything is 0 so this one is gone here we have 1 by 2 into 1 by 2 that root will go away 1 by 2 by 2 is 1 by 4 so from 1 by 2 we are getting only 1 by 4 when we substitute 0 we see everything is 0 so we can write down this is equal to from the first term we will be having 0 plus 1 by 4 minus of when we substitute 0 we will have 0 plus 0 so our final answer is 1 by 4